Uh, Moon Knight. What did you think of the trailer for Moon Knight? I loved it. I thought it was dope. Uh, here's what I've said all along. I think this is uh, this is my call. I think Moon Knight is going to be Marvel Shakespeare. That's my call. I think it's going to be two wow. guys. See, so here's my thing. I think like if you look at most most great actors working today, they will they all of them will kind of do movie, 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 and then they'll sign up to do a play, and they usually and they'll do Broadway or they'll do West End in in, in London, and they do that because they just want to flex their dramatic chops. And they just mm-hmm. want to go out in front of a live audience and just let their skills rip. I think that's what this series is going to be. It's going to be Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke basically going full theatrical like for however many episodes this is. Because that's when I see these trailers, everything to me is like they just have given these guys like free reign to max out their characters. I think the costume was great. I'm, I'm excited. I think it looks cool. I like what they're doing there. I think the tone looks fun. I think Hawk looks really ominous. Like, I'm just fascinated to see what he's doing with this Arthur Harrow sort of cult leader. Like, I don't know what... I, I love to... I, I can't wait till he... He's a great interview. I can't wait till he starts promoting this because I want to hear what, like, cult leader and crazy dudes he used for inspiration yeah, for yeah. this. Um... But I, I think it, I think it looks fantastic. I mean, I think this show is going to be one of those that like it's twists and turns, and we're talking week to week like this is some some wild stuff. And obviously, then if you want to layer in the Feige comment, I have to admit it, I didn't get brutal violence as like that hasn't been like a that hasn't struck me as like a theme in these trailers. But I mm-hmm. guess that's some of what we're in for here. So, which is also kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It's definitely cool. Um... But it, it seems like they're sort of pushing the envelope for the possible inclusion of other characters that require that sort of uh, uh, I guess brutality, um, especially for somebody like the Punisher. Some might even say Daredevil, which I think in Daredevil, the show on Netflix was a sort of like a rated R, right? You would consider that a rated R, right? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right? <laughs> definitely. So we love that. Do they dial it down? Again, I don't think you do the Punisher on Netflix. I mean, on, on Disney Plus. I don't think you do Daredevil on Disney Plus. They have Hulu, and I think that's what they should. That's, that's what they should do. I mean, you they put out Hitmonkey. I don't know if you saw Hitmonkey yet, Brian, but that's rated R as hell, and it was Marvel. Marvel plastered all over it, flipped everything. It's Marvel. It's a Marvel product on Hulu. I don't see why you can't do that. And obviously, when you hook up with Spider Man and stuff like that, you can sort of tone it down in certain situations. You, you, you can play around with that and still make it enjoyable and, 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 and not rated R. But um, let's see how deep they go with this. Let's see how deep they, they go with Moon Knight. Um, I, I'm getting more and more excited every time I see trailer for this or any new footage that scene where he jumps he's in the air and he and he has his uh cape that looked there's a lot of cool moments and there's going to be a lot of cool moments in this show and uh i'm looking forward to it very much let us know in the comment mm-hmm. section what, yeah go ahead yeah a little little late one before we, we taped here i don't know if you saw they um they cast f murray abraham as the egyptian god who kind of curses him f- I don't. I forget the god's name, but that's kind of cool. Con, too, con, they got con, 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 something, yeah. Con, so yeah. So they have a another Academy Award winner now in the uh, in the lineup as sort of. I, I'm guessing this is a smaller part, but yeah. maybe something that you know, a couple of cameos, small appearances, but still, you know, another big name kind of showing up in in this show. So yeah, I think I don't totally. I still don't totally know. Like I, I'm kind of going in very open minded. Like I'm excited, but I really don't have like a, hey, we better see this or we better see that. I'm very flexible in terms of what they want to do with it, I'm, which I think is great. 
Are you, would you dis- be disappointed if we get like a 35 minute episode? How long no. would you like, want, no. how, long, how long would you want this, these episodes to be? Um, I think 45 is a good length. I mean, I think like, you know, cause back in the day, like when you were watching something on TV and it was an hour long, it really yeah. was 45 minutes. So I kind of feel like that's about right. Like, I, I feel like I've watched, there's some shows that I like where every episode is an hour and like, it does feel a little bit long sometimes, even if it's good. Like if it's an hour with no commercials, like a TV yeah, yeah, show, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> so I think like if you give me 40 to 45 minutes of like really good stuff, like I'm, I'm fine with that. All right. All right. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below. What did you guys think of the Moon Knight trailer? Um, shown at the Super Bowl.